Gentlemen, I brought you here today for a headphone challenge. Resolve Golden Sound. Are you ready? Uh, no. Potentially? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're filming, so... Oh yeah, well here's I'm I know what we're filming, but I haven't really prepared myself for this. I've done none of the uh, preemptive mental work for it, so I think we'll be on a relatively even playing field. You haven't taken the right vitamins for it. Yeah, I got to take my vitamins okay. first. Here's what's going to happen: we're going to have five minutes, okay? So don't start yet. We're going to have five minutes, and we're each going to design a headphone system, DAC amp, headphone, all that stuff. But all of the equipment has to be used. You can look on eBay, forums, discords, any of that, but you have to build a headphone system used in five minutes. Hold on, when you say build, what do you mean by build? I mean, find me if like a handful of headphone, like headphone deck amp listings to assemble, you could build a whole headphone system out of. Okay. You know, you need a headphone, you need a DAC and you need an amp. That's a that's a headphone system. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. And it has to be used. Has to be used and your budget is $300. Right, okay. Okay, so here's the problem. I live in Canada, so are we going used American prices or used yes. Canadian? Okay, used used America. Okay. Yeah, let's say 300, 300 US. You can translate that. Three hundred for everything. Three hundred all in. Right. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. As soon as we start, all three of us are gonna mute our microphones. I'm gonna start a timer, and as soon as I unmute and tell you guys to stop, whatever you're doing, just stop right there. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Are you guys set? Yep. About as much as I can be. Yes. All right, gentlemen, mute your mics in three, two, one. Right, so uh, $300 is tight. Uh, so we're going to have a look at Hi-Fi Shark first. I'm thinking, I mean, firstly, let's just see if there's something like an addition excess really cheap, because if there is, sometimes people will get rid of those for almost nothing. 200 pounds, someone said, oh, that's just the grills for 45 pounds. That's going to take up the whole budget. Arguably, you could just do an addition excess in an Apple dongle, and also, also honestly, that would be pretty decent. But uh, okay, what else could we go for? I'm get. I think we're going to need to do some IEMs. I think under three hundred dollars, honestly, a lot of the best options just are IEMs. Oh, I'm not prepared for this at all. Let's go to eBay. Of course, the first thing that pops up is a cassette tape that I bought. I'm going to see if I can find maybe a Sundara. I feel like that'd be a good starting point. Oh, not a Sundara close. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, 220, that uses up most of my budget. 203, 203, okay. Wait, wait, one, is this one broken? That one's, pre that's pretty bad. Let's not do that. Okay, so this is a, a good contender right now. All right, so I'm going to try and find an HD 600 used under $300 and that's it. That's that's not that's not an HD six hundred. That's a oh what 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 <laughs> what is happening? Okay, well that that's uh, that's no good. Oh no! Oh here's here's one. That's, this is Canadian. So yeah, I can I can find this. Let's see if they have an HD six hundred. They do. All right, that's two hundred sixty five. And now I need some sort of dongle thing. Let's have a look for Moondrop Blessing three and see if there's any particularly cheap. Oh, here we go. $234 for some uh, Moondrop Blessing 3s. Is there something wrong with them? Opened and never used. That is a pretty great option because these will come with a DSP cable, which means that even if you don't like the tuning of them all that much, you can change things. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. 234, which gives us 67 or oh, $66 in order to do a source. I bet we can get a Qdelux 5K for that much. Let's see if I can find Maybe an, a Zen DAC. Oh, that brings me over budget. Zen Air, okay. Uh, is this 6.3 millimeter? This is 6.3. This would technically get me there. Oh, that's $3 over budget. Crap. Okay, I can't do, ooh, what about this one? This one? Oh, it's $7 shipping. That's what's gonna get me. Is this one free shipping? Free shipping on that. That's not bad, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, free shipping on that, but $3 over budget. Okay, I need something else. Or maybe a cheaper amp. Can I find a cheaper amp? Let's just type in DAC amp. Oh no. Okay, okay. Ooh, uh, that, that mm, this is tough. Dongle DAC? Oh, here we go. I, I don't know what this is. I mean, I'm just gonna say Apple dongle. <laughs> I found a high dis S9 AKM dongle DAC amp something. Hydiz S9, let's see. Let's see if Hydiz, what the Hydiz S9 is. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's $50 new. 
<laughs> it was trying to sell it for 40, 44 95 It doesn't tell me what the power requirements or what the, uh, doesn't tell me what the amplification is with this. It tells me like basically nothing <laughs> about this product. Here we go. 80, 65 euros. That one's sold. That one's just a case. $75. That's 90. 90 or best offer. So we're just slightly over there. That's really frustrating. Okay, what about a truth, ah, uh, truthier hexa maybe. Hexa you can get really cheap, but then you're going to be spending way more on the source and you probably can get better options for under 300. This is really tough because I think the Blessing 3 are a great platform. And so we just need to find an ideal source, ideally that has DSP that is under that amount. In fact, I'm going to go a slightly different route. I'm not going to go for a device that has DSP. I'm going to go USB Audio Player Pro. This is an app which does cost a bit of money. So I'm going to factor that in. This is an $8 app. And I believe there's an in-app purchase for the EQ module, if I'm not mistaken doesn't tell you on the thing. Okay, I think it, if I remember correctly, and I might be off by a couple of dollars, I think it's $3 for the EQ module. So let's call it like $10 for USB Audio Player Pro. $234 is shipping included. Okay, posted here saying $73. That's just because I'm in the UK. If you were actually in San Diego, uh, California, it wouldn't be that much. So I'm, I'm going to ignore shipping. $234, make it $244 once we've got the USB Audio Player Pro. Then we just need a half decent dongle deck. I'm going to say Fio... KA13. The problem is if I found something with like 4.4, I would need to get a 4.4 cable also. And that would be an issue. Uh, ooh, K5. Okay, this would work. A K5 and that. Okay, there's one option. Um, what do I have left? A few dollars? I think that'll be fine. Let's put that there. And then maybe a backup system. Let's come up with something. Four volts output. Do we need anything more than that? What's the HD600's rated specs? So we have 300 ohm, it's 97 dB SPL. I think that's per milliwatt. 300. Uh, wait, is it dB per milliwatt? Or either way, we should be good. All right, we're good though. This is a nice little balanced, really compact one as well. That's Australian dollars. $49, okay. So I don't quite know what the retail price on that is, but uh, we've got to go used. So what is that in freedom money? E60, so that then takes us right up to uh, to where we were. In fact, let's just find one that was a little cheaper maybe because there were some. That one's saying US, okay, US dollars 49. And then there are other ones here if you didn't want to buy one from uh, the complete opposite side of the planet. $35. So let's call it $35. USB Audio Player Pro and the EQ module for 10 in total. So that's $44 plus the Moondrop Blessing 3s. And we're under $300. It's the 6XX. That's always a great option. But would that be would that be too boring? I don't want to pick the same system as someone else. That has some funky looking pads on it. Maybe we should... Oh, we have two minutes left. Maybe I should pick a... Uh, what else can I find? What's something interesting that's old school? Actually, I should read this listing. Okay, so I would have to pay Im import duties on this, which means this would probably come out to being right at my budget. You know what? I feel pretty good about that. I think we got it. I think we got this on lock. We're so good. Everything's fine. I'm not nervous at all. Wait, does this have a power supply for it? No cables. Fuck. Uh, VOK5? Oh, no. Okay, maybe. Does this have the cables? Okay, this does have, this has this stuff. This has the stuff. He's got cables for it. I think that might bring me over budget though. I'm not sure. No, okay, so this, will this bring me over budget with the import duties? We'll be good by like $2. Perfect. Stop whatever you're doing. Unmute. I don't know about you guys, but that came down to the wire for me because I found something and it was messed up. Uh, yeah, that kind of happened to me too. <laughs> I was trying to convert uh, Australian dollars to US dollars and trying to fix things up. Did you find the best hi-fi system that's ever existed? I went slightly over, but here's the thing, because it's used, I could probably like, you know, offer them, you know, something or I could, you know, haggle them. 
Mm. Yeah, especially on especially on one of them, I could haggle them down. I was tempted to like make an offer on one of the eBay listings whilst we were doing this and hope they responded in time. But uh... <laughs> that would be a fast response time. It would yeah. be a fast response time. Okay, so who wants to share first? How do you want to do this? I figured we'll just put them in our uh, our little Discord chat here, so we can see what kind of amazing things we found. I'll go first. Sure. So for headphones, I went for the Moondrop Blessing Three because I think that these are a pretty mm. pretty solid IEM and platform. Ooh. Those alone would have been pretty nice, just because they've got the 3DSP cable, but as we found out, the 3DSP cable does have some slight issues. I wanted to get a Qdlix 5K, because Qdlix 5K is great, and just Moondrop Blessing 3 plus Qdlix for under $300 is just a fantastic setup all round. I was going to be $10 over, so I couldn't quite do that. That's a problem I had. Yep, me too. So instead, I went with the route of saying, okay, well, I'm going to get a Fio KA11 as the dongle DAC and amp because it measures really well, sounds pretty good. It's pretty Ooh. powerful if you did want to upgrade to something else later as well. Oh yeah, we love a good dongle. And it's pretty cheap. I should have picked that. But because I still wanted DSP, I also factored in the cost of USB Audio Player Pro as an app. So I bundled that in as well, and we are now just under $300. So that gives you EQ and uh, still gets you everything you need. That was smart. Our guy went full send. This is a really, really good system. Yeah. For under 300 EQ'd Blessing 3 without the free DSP cable that causes the problems, it's, uh, I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty dang good. Golly. I was worried we were all going to pick the same thing, but now I'm like, I think you probably outdid me. What have, uh, what have you gone for? So my first instinct was to look for one of these. This is a Hyphman Sundara. You may have heard of it before. This one is... 20396 with free shipping. I found some others that were really rough. Uh, but this one is acceptable. It comes with the cable and it has a 6.3 millimeter adapter in there. Then the problem was let's find a, a DAC amp that can give it some juice. And at first I found a Fio K5 Pro that was just in the right budget, but it didn't come with the power cable. And I realized that when there was like a minute left. So I did find an, oh, also that Sundara has uh, shipping from Japan. So it has import taxes. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't factor those in. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't part of the setup. <laughs> Cause like for me, I'm gonna have import taxes no matter what. That's true. <laughs> let's assume that you you have like the same level of import taxes as like the US or something just to make it more fair because I know Canada was going to make that brutal. Yeah. So I ended up finding a FIO regular K5, non K5 Pro, just a regular K5 for 85 bucks with free shipping. And this one does have the cables with it. I figure that's that's going to be enough juice for a, a Sundara. It's got a 6.3 millimeter, you know, USB and all that stuff. So pretty simple. I don't have any, you know, any fancy DSP setups or anything like that, but I figure a Sundara and a, a pretty basic DAC amp will get the job done for under 300 bucks. Yeah, that's a good system. What have you got for us, Mr. Resolve? So my whole goal with this was to just find an HD 600 under $300 and I found one and uh, that's it. That's the, that's the setup. But I did also look for a, a, a dongle DAC of some kind. Honestly, no, that's valid. And realistically, if I was buying this HD 600, it would leave me with money left over. It's 265 US. So like, yeah. you could realistically fit a dongle on top of that. You could get an Apple dongle. I did, yeah. So my initial instinct was Apple dongle, but, and then, you know, like people are like always like, okay, yeah, you need like more power for like the 300 room headphones. Okay, okay, okay. Like fine. Um, especially maybe if you're going to EQ something, I don't know, but. I also looked into dongle DAX and I also used, right? And I found this Hidiz, Hidiz S9 AKM dongle DAG amp. The, here's the thing about this though. It has, it's listed, it has an asking price of $44.95. Right. However, I went to the Hidiz website and uh, it's on sale currently for $50. So oh. I, I, I'm very confident that you could probably haggle this person down oh. to you know, quite a bit less given that it's only $5 more to get it brand new. That's pretty solid. I may have a reason why someone might not want to get one of those. In fact, I might be able to demonstrate. Hang on, I don't know if this will work or not. Uh-oh, spicy. I have no idea if it's any good. This is why I need a golden sound review of it. It's a, I mean, it's a DAC amp. Yeah. It's a dongle. I like how two thirds of us defaulted to looking for a dongle and prioritizing the headphone over everything else, which I think is definitely the right way to go. 100%. But is there genuinely a problem with this, with the Hidizz? I don't know if there is. He's going to demonstrate it for us, I guess. Uh, I have here, you can't see it at the moment, an S, a Hidizz S9, uh, S9 Pro. Uh, you might not be able to hear this over the Discord call, but I'm just going to plug this into something real quick and let people hear what happens. If, uh, I don't know if it just does. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm really bad at this. Give me a second. 
Could we get could we get confirmation from Cameron? Do you think that the Apple dongle is sufficient for the HD 600? The HD 600, yes. I would just go and get the used Apple dongle <laughs> for slightly more expensive than the used Apple <laughs> dongle that costs more than a new one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. for this challenge, I could just do that. I just picked the hit is because it was like the it just showed up. I I, I searched dongle deck on US Audio Mart and that's the cheapest one that was there. <laughs> so uh, I have here a hit is S9 Pro and I'm just going to quickly show you why I don't really recommend this product. So uh, plug in a pair of Sennheiser HD 600s. I'm just going to plug this into my phone. And uh, let's just play a video, shall we? Turn that down. Let's go the minimum volume, shall we? Yeah, that's uh I I wouldn't recommend this unless you want to deafen yourself. But you know what people should do if they don't want buying audio gear to be a challenge? They should probably go to headphones.com. <laughs> I hear that's the best place on the internet to buy headphones, and it makes the process a lot easier than dealing with a used Apple dongle that costs more than a new one. Yeah, though I don't think they sell used Apple dongles. They don't, yeah, no. If you want a used Apple dongle, probably stick to eBay. So uh, I, I just plugged in the S9 and showed the uh, HD 600 distorting, like it's ju it just blasts static at full volume. So um, weird. I don't know why it does that. But I don't recommend this for that reason, because the first time I tried it, I nearly deafened myself. Yeah, but if you look at Audio Science Review, it says it's the best phone adapter in the world. I'm sure mm. it is, it's when it's not trying to <laughs> give you hearing damage. And on that lovely note, we're going to put all the systems up here on the screen, and it's up for you guys in the comments to decide who is the winner of today's challenge. Let us know in the comments down below, because we're going to do some more of these in the future. What kind of weird, wacky challenges do you want to see us do? Or would you like to see us do this again, but at a different price bracket? Is there a particular level of spend that you'd be interested in? Our thoughts on what the best you can get for your money is. I think that Resolve would love for us to do this, but only with on-ear headphones. Oh, God. Mm. This is torture. Oh, you know, you know what would be even worse? Hmm. You have to choose a product that has one of the cartoon children on it. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Is this your nightmare? <laughs> this is my nightmare. This or is, uh, this is you have to do that yeah. and just on gonna here. go and hand in my resignation. Uh. <laughs> 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 so with that said, let's wrap up this video, guys. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Again, let us know in the comments who you thought won and what you want to see us do like this in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at the Discord or the forum, both available at the link in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Till next one, guys. Peace.